Hi all today we are going to discuss one of the most demanding topic that is how to prepare PLSQL now a question may comes to your mind that why should you prepare PLSQL because in DCA PLSQL you will only having MCQ not any codes that's why you should prepare for DCA PLSQL because it is easy to crack now in this video we are going to discuss few things like first we will discuss important topics from which questions are asked frequently then we will discuss study materials from where you can prepare these topics after that we will discuss few sample questions based on these topics okay and at last i will give you slot of around 250 questions for your practice and these questions are similar to that of the question that were asked in previous plsql dc exam okay so let's start our video and guys before we move ahead Please like this video and subscribe the channel for getting more updates regarding this. Okay, so if you look at the topic, then the first topic is collections in PLSQL. Okay, and if you look at one question from that topic that was asked, you can see here Oracle supports all the collection except for which of the following. You have to choose which of the following among these is not supported by Oracle. So for this, you need to know about collections in PLSQL. So from where you can study this. So you have to study from here itself you can see here I will give the link of this in description okay. So you can see here they are saying that PLSQL provides three collection types first is associative array nested table and last one is VRA. Now if you again come to the question you can easily solve this question because the answer is record this is not supported by Oracle as part of collection okay. Now in this topic what else you need to know is you have to study something about this associative array, the nested table and VRA. In each topic, you have to study two things. The first one is what it does and second one is what is its syntax. In next exam, they might ask question on syntax of this index by table or associative array. Okay. Similarly, if you go down, you can find syntax of nested table. What nested table does and what is its syntax. So you have to study only these two things okay now if you go down then you can find one more thing that is collection methods so these are very important most of the methods you already know it like exist count limit first okay so you have to just go through lines like what it does because next time they may ask what is the use of count function in collections of plsql similarly you have to go down and study each and everything like prior next extend one line it will take hardly five minutes okay extend trim what trim does okay delete like that okay and the last sub topic in this topic is collection exceptions this topic will come under exceptions but i am saying you to read here itself so there are few exceptions you can see here collection is null no data found subscript beyond count okay like this so what they can do is they can ask you like that a subscript is null or not convertible to the key type which of the following collection exception it represents so in that case you have to tick value error okay and in previous dca they have asked a question on this value error let me show you so if you go here then you can see here if you go here not here like yeah here so if you go down you can see here which of the following collection exception is raised when an attempt is made to convert data type that cannot be converted to PLS integer so the answer is value error so if you go to here you can see here same thing it is also saying that not convertible to key type so in that case you have to take value error so similarly you have to study each and everything like no data found subscript beyond count subscript outside limit if you look at the next topic then you can see here cursors in plsql this is very important topic because from this topic they are asking so many questions so let's discuss one question from this topic is which of the following is first step in using cursor opening the cursor fetching the cursor defining the cursor closing the cursor obviously this should not be the answer because first you have to open the cursor or define the cursor so either a or c will be the answer by common sense but first let's discuss the topic then we will come to this question so from where you have to prepare so you have to again go to this website so in this topic what you have to study is first point you have to study is what is cursor okay just remember the definition they may ask a definition on this also okay after that you have to study two types of cursor implicit cursors and explicit cursors okay 
and inside each cursor you have to study its syntax how to write it how to define it okay and there are different attributes inside each cursor these attributes are very important you might have seen these attributes in your tcs ir exam so here you have to have to do is you have to remember what it does what is the use of this when should you use percent found when should you use percent not found when should you use percent is open so you have to study each and everything what is percent row count this is very important so what percent row count does is it returns the number of rows affected by insert update or delete statement or returned by select into statement okay now if you go down so what you have to study is first thing what is cursor next types of cursor next how to declare implicit cursors and inside implicit cursors different attributes percent found and like that okay now if you go down then you can see here explicit cursors so you have to study what is explicit cursor and how to declare explicit cursor you can see here at least note down this syntax on some copy and make a note of this so that you can cheat while leaving dc okay so opening the cursor first step then fetching the cursor then closing the cursor and before opening you have to declare the cursor so there are four steps the first is declaring the cursor opening the cursor fetching the cursor closing the cursor okay so if you come to the question here you can see here first what we have to do is define the cursor first define the cursor after that open the cursor then fetch the cursor and finally we have to close the cursor okay i hope the cursor part is clear to all of you now next topic so if you go to the next topic then you can see here next topic is cursor attributes we have discussed right now percent is open percent found so all the cursor attributes i have given here you see i have given different cursor attributes you have to study percent is open percent found you have to study like what it does percent not found percent row count okay so percent row count is very important this attribute is used to determine the number of rows that had been fetched since a cursor was opened this is very important so you have to study each or everything okay percent open found not found row count okay now let's go to the next topic so what our next topic is so our next topic is exceptions in plsql i think we have already discussed exceptions in plsql and here value error that i have already discussed guys i have tried my best to cover each and every topic with respect to plsql and few topics are still left but the video was getting longer so i am trying to publish those topic in next videos i have also given the link of 250 questions in description box you can go it over there and try to solve those questions because these questions are very important and it will certainly going to help you